So I talked in the previous video that um, we are going through a huge, dramatic, but positive shift on this planet. It will be dramatic for some people, um, but today I wanted to help you guys out that feel that you are struggling in this time of uncertainty on the planet and uh, you feel the changes. Maybe there are some unexpected life events that have unfolded and you were not pre prepared for that. This shift on the planet right now is a thing that has been prophesized. It is coming, it's happening. And to help yourself and your body and mind system, there are some daily routines that can help you lighten up, you could say, and um, adjust your energy so you can manage these changes better. So I wanted to sit down here today with my buddy from Thailand, Bank. He is a yoga instructor, breath work master, I would call him and um, he is living a life with a different routine, we could say, than most people. So I wanted to sit down with him, introduce him to you guys, you. and maybe you can connect with him in the future. All right, super nice driver. Uh, so we are here at Fernpresso. I'm gonna meet my buddy from Thailand. He's a yoga instructor, and uh, I'm gonna drop off my guitar. I can't take that to Norway. And also we're gonna see if we can have a chat about Hmm, healthy life routines. Hey! Hey! It's not tightened up anymore. Oh, okay, I can turn um, it. Hey, yeah, it's it's new. Um, yeah. I barely used it. I bought it to record one sad song, oh. and <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't use it after that. Are you gonna? I mean, maybe you should take it with you. I, I wanted to, yeah. but now we have too much, and we have to simplify. Yeah, yeah. So I got my um, guitar here in Thailand, uh, but I can't bring it. We have already too much, and we want to travel light. So I think I'm gonna pass it on to my brother from another mother who knows how to handle a guitar. Yeah. Hello guys, Hello. thank you for tuning back in. So I have a few days, no I don't have a few days, I have a few hours left only actually in Thailand. But I was able to synchronize and was fortunate to meet my friend Bank here today at a wonderful coffee shop. Fernpresso is just outside of the city center of Chiang Mai. Lush and green and peaceful. Yeah. How are you Bank? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but yeah. really great. I'm um, just really, yeah, just serving my mm. purpose <laughs> with my with passion, with my work mm. on breath and water. And yeah. The way I connected with you was when we, uh, because some of you know from my channel that I've been living in Chiang Mai for five, mm. five and a half years. I met with Bank with, uh, I think it was one of your events. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. So After, that's during the lockdown even. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Mm. So, uh, and that was great. And um, what I wanted to do today is uh, before we travel back to Norway, I wanted to help you guys out there that feel a little bit stuck maybe and confused at the times we are in. Mm. I've been talking about in one of my previous videos that we are in this intense changing and shifting times. Bank knows all about this. And what I asked him to talk about today is um, a couple of life routines to help you improve managing these days with maybe unexpected life changes showing up. Two life routines or two self-healing self -healing methods that I've been going through myself with Bank before 
uh, something you could consider trying out. Mm. So I just felt like asking you and, and ask if you can talk about breathwork mm. first. Yeah. I mean, breathwork has become pretty popular, but you are doing a lot of work with this. Mm. Yeah. So how can that help people in these days? Mm. Yeah. Um, first, I would say like the, when we think a lot, Johnny, when we think about the past, like worries or, or resentment of the past and worries about the future, you forget the vertical now. The vertical now in this case is to take a deep breath, right? You take a pause because when we are thinking ahead too much, we forget to come home. In scientific term, we call that homeostasis, right? It's coming mm, home, yeah. same root word of home. Right. So when we, when we have anxiety about the unknown, and we call that emotion, worries about the future, and we have guilt about the past, about resentment of our parents, or the way we grew up, or the way the lockdown was rolled out for humanity, you know, mm. that, that we had that anger, resentment, everything that is untransmuted, is haunting our, our subconscious mind and also coming up to the conscious mind as an awareness. So when we become the awareness of that, we take a break from that by deep breath in the vertical. I call it vertical now, but in this case, it means that you're breathing in to your lower. In Chinese medicine, it's called lower dantian, or you can call it the lower abdominum, the gut, right? Mm. Microbiome to get to that massage, big belly, and exhale so your mouth or big sigh out so that is already the best tool that you can take a pause right and just really when you breathe in your body your posture can like expand more from contraction we become more expansion and this is how we shift from the baby in the mother's womb into courageously push through the birth canal without fear or more to not use negative term with more courage right mm. to really push out to that and so we can expand our, of energy, yeah, um, our energy, you know, is, is scientifically as well that we have the aura about our arms with. Some of people who are sick or prone to get sick, we have contracted aura or energy field. Uh, electromagnetic field, right? That bio field. Some of you may know that. And you may not even need to be a psychic to feel people's energy, right? Some people are a little grumpy on the 7-Eleven or some shop and you can feel them. and You can chip by just smiling without expecting them to smile back and some people smile back you know and like what we did earlier it on this cafe impact. as well as yeah. we had the energetic imprint for everyone whether we do the bad trading of energy or we can do the positive trading of energy yeah. or exchange right yeah that's that is the inner money that we already carry it's a currency yeah it's a currency, currency. yeah I, I think it's uh, it's also about actually claiming your space mm. even yeah. And not uh, minify yourself mm. or become mouse-like. I mm. have so observed a lot of people like that yeah. in my practice mm. through the years, with 17 years of, of martial arts, as mm. some of you know, and, um, and diving deeply into to body language especially. Mm. So you can see how many people are smallifying themselves. Yeah. So breathing in and expand, you know, will take up more space yeah. and... Um, and it makes it makes yourself more confident. Yeah, yeah. It's the more you take ownership of the space around you, wherever mm. you are, right? You, your own presence is is infinite value, and mm. your 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 net worth that you're walking around, you can be contracted. Like, I'm 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 unworthy. Or you can take ownership, of, but not too much, right? Because no, if it no. tends too much, we have back pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we have to find that home where you breathe and you're just really sharing your energy mm. without fear of being judged, you know, because of yeah. course people are the new norm nowadays, as, as you may know, right? I went to the US a couple of years ago as well. Many people in the energetic field in that uh, country, in many other countries, including Thailand, some, some place, they are normalizing feeling negative of fight or flight, a shallow breath. Mm. And that, Ooh, when yeah. we become that, we take ownership of space and we walk around like Chicago, for example, when I was in LA, people are going to look at us as weirdo mm. sometimes because like, we, are, we are not the norm, not the normalized exactly, uh, population yeah. there. So, but we can start a trend, you know. So I think it's, it's really fun to experiment in each city that we travel in. Uh, each cafe has different collective feel. And, it does. And you take ownership of that positive charge of your inner power bank 
mm. wherever you are you take that deep breath when you stop speaking because when I speak when we judge we complain we speak we don't get to breathe in right that's right and that's why we are created with two nostrils two holes and one hole of the mouth <laughs> and I think some some people said use it proportionately yeah right? And um, haven't they figured out also that uh, actually breathing in through the nose has a different effect mm. than just uh, hyperventilating through yeah, the mouth? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's really, yeah, it's, it's scientifically uh, study that came as well. When you breathe through the nose, especially when you humming, when you exhale humming, there's a little bit of little bacteria in our nasal cavity that can create nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It means that uh, they're dilating the blood vessel and the lung vessel for you to get more air in efficiently, oxygen in mm. to the cell, try to transport more nutrient, more oxygen to hemoglobin efficiently when you do that. One of the two I, I usually ask people who have panic attack or really shallow breath all the time is to mm, do some humming. Like when right. you agree with somebody humbly, you can hmm, hmm, this guy is the real deal. Hmm. Right? That's right. So that humming already creates a little bit of nitric oxide. It's open and the pathway for your energy hmm. channels. And okay. that's, you can uh, research about that. You know, nitric oxide with humming. And that's a really great tool to, to carry wherever we are. Like when on the airplane I do as well, just humming, you know, calm down. I do that too often. Right? Yeah, like a baby love humming. Yeah, they do. Mm. Okay, so, uh, but what is your morning routine? Because you have a morning routine. Yeah, yeah, I do. Compared to mine, the bank is up middle of the night when I sleep. <laughs> and, oh, uh, <laughs> real one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you oh, have a morning right. routine um, where breathing is a part of it, right? Mm, yeah. Mm. So, so I have about 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes. Sometimes if I don't have um, class to teach, I just really do like half an hour or one hour full, full session. But the 15 minutes routine that I do is, I call this 369. And you, 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 you can make use of this as well. You know, it's really beautiful too and quick. You do the five breaths or the focus on the detoxifying exhalation. But when you do the oxygen uh, measurement on your finger, you know, the oximeter, it's fascinating when you have that at home, right? And when you do that with the breath, you can measure that. And when you, mm -hmm. it's almost like you, you, you blow the air through your nose and get the fly, little fly out to, in your nostril. Mm -hmm. And do that for 33 pump, you know, 30. Or 30 or 33 but I love number 33 and so after 33rd pump you exhale to your mouth to vacuum the belly in and you can do a little bit of fasting or intermittent fasting hmm. and when you see the measurement of that your blood oxygen gonna go lower and lower and that's called hypoxic environment of your blood and which is good because sometimes we fast some oxygen is really good because when you come back hmm. You inhale and raise the vibration up and you can shower the energy down at the mm. end. It's you, you're going to feel blissful goosebumps and that is, in scientific terms, it's called hemi sync, left and right brain syncing. When you're humming to the room, you can feel the goosebumps mm. some note, with some note, yeah, right? That's and right. that's really good hemi sync. Your energy level is going to be higher rather than sp spiral downward, right? Mm. So that is the first tool. If you have a few minutes, I think, with three minutes, you can just do one round. But if you have more than three minutes every morning, I usually just really do with candle gaze at 5 a.m. And then I do second round with 66 breaths. Hmm. <laughs> and hold at the 66, all the way out, fasting from oxygen. And then inhale oxygen in, visualize gratitude of your day, giving thanks in your future now. Mm. What your meeting gonna have, meeting with John successfully today and gonna give thanks to in advance. Travel is safe and you exhale radiate it out, mm. shower it down. And the last one is 99. So repeat, you know, mm. three sets. It's really quick. You can, Sweet. if you have time, you can do more. But yeah. That's the tool. A complete reset. Mm, Sounds yeah, like, it's yeah. almost like every cell tingling and vibrating and almost every cell is rebirth, rebirth reborn, right? Every morning. Mm. So that's, that's my morning. Well, that is... Um, so I wanted to touch on these things because that would be step number one as a way to balance mm -hmm. both body and mind mm -hmm. um, to optimize for the changes happening on the planet. Uh, emotional changes too. Uh, yeah. That's some of the changes I talk about. It's not yeah. just external changes in the environment with 
madness of politics and mm. whatever truths are coming out. Yeah. But you know, these changes affect people's life, mm. um, personal lives. There's a lot of uh, changes in personal relationships mm. and family dynamics yeah. that can create emotional disturbances. So having a life routine to master yourself mm. is good and breathwork is one very yeah. powerful technique for that. Yeah. And, and when you when you feel that bliss after the breath, you know after the breath hole or fasting from the breath hole, you almost you take ownership of your reality again, right? Mm. It's almost like everything is is expansive rather than contracted. Yeah. So we have to step up to take ownership of our reality because if exactly. you're not responsible for your subconscious programming, somebody else is going to be responsible for yours. Very easily. And that's infectious nowadays too, yeah, right? yeah. as we talk about this past 2012, 2019 threshold. Yeah, so. and what's coming. Yeah. So, because we're basically living on a fear-based planet with um, fear porn, you know, flourishing everywhere in, in media and, and social mm -hmm. media. And um, that minifies people because since there are people believe in this fear, mm -hmm. They become smaller, mm -hmm. and it's really good if they can practice what you say and yeah. expand, yeah. And take, and claim their their, mm -hmm. their space. Humanity needs to claim their space in peace mm -hmm. at this time. Yes, that's true. So another thing I wanted to uh, ask Bank about today is um, some time ago when I was here and uh, I connected with him, I had my own things I wanted to um, reshape and transform and improve uh, and heal also. That's probably why I came to Thailand, I guess, mm -hmm. the synchronicity of, synchronicity of my trip down here. Mm -hmm. um, that's the method of um, water therapy, which mm -hmm. I have been doing a bank two times or two or three times. Mm -hmm. Very powerful, what can we call it? A ceremony, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about the um, technique of water therapy, how you do it and, yeah. and what we can expect mm -hmm. in such a ceremony? Thank you, brother. So, so basically this is a, a way for me, water is a middle path between earth and space, right? In all these five universal elements, water is almost like bringing you back home to the womb of creation. So when I, I hold space, a whole ceremony for people to come to the water therapy session, I call, I call my, my, my branding is called aquatic rebirth therapy, which is beyond just really normal water therapy that I was trained. I use my mm. style breast work, which is really piercing light breast work to feel the light tingling in your finger to open the energetic pathway first so that they can trust me as a space holder. And then when people are really allowing, give permission, you know, and give consent to do the little gut massage, we do a little bit of gut massage as well because it's some something a lot in there, you know, since our childhood, so, right? And so the microbiome get touched by that Almost a channel of love, you know, the channel of unconditional love through through the space holders, through both of us, through the one who in the field. So it's a collaborative work. It's not just about me. Uh, I am just the channel of that. And uh, the basic simplified modality is like water, which is fluid, almost anti-gravity. So yeah. your bone and your joint are not as dense when it's compared to the, the earth here. We have the spinal disc in between the uh, bone here, right? Mm -hmm. When we are sitting like this a lot, we have the herniated disc back to the sciatica. But in water, people trust us and lie down and just really move the joint around. Mm -hmm. And that moment, that's a, comp that's a com uh, what do you call that? Component of breath, breath work, water healing, and essential oil, emotional shift, and also like massaging or movement, almost yeah. like moving the joint so movement and stillness, dancing in a session.
And one of the climax that I use is diving deep with a nose clip. So when we go under the water, we almost as if we go under the subconscious pressure. Some people who came to this um, private ceremony retreat with me, they had about the sense of unlocking their old fear of being drowned by their brother or sister when they were little kids. And so there's something, you know, that needs to bubble up, up, right? Yeah. A lot of people are afraid of water or diving because of the accident. They were left alone by their mom or their dad as a yeah. kid. So I got a lot of similar, same, same story, but different, different bodies that are telling me the same story, which is like neglect, uh, abandonment, and you know, not care for, or some sibling pushing them underwater as a kid. Very so cool. that's, that's allergy is being faced by mm. the awareness. And when the awareness comes, everything starts to bubble up and breathe and release. So it's almost like a subconscious deep work as well. Yeah. When we come up to the surface of water again, they get to breathe and almost like liberating, like a baby reborn. And to rebirth. Yeah. And yeah, I remember Johnny, uh, you know, like after a session, he's, he takes some time to grow a little bit, right? It's almost like he's becoming more like a baby, baby face. <laughs> you are having baby face. Yeah. So. I remember the session with Bank um, for the water therapy the first time. Uh, I'd, it took some time for me to get back mm. to this planet almost. Mm. And the reason is that, uh, and, and people, you just don't know it. You, you have to try this. And I have been with some people that I presented to Bank to, to have a session with him. Mm. And the response is the same for everybody. They mm. come back up from the water. And it's not that you get pushed down <laughs> and uh, for, for a minute. This is a very controlled and cared for uh, session. Mm. But a few minutes or a few seconds in total that you are underwater, it does something to you because the technique you use is to flip people around, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But when, when you are in water, it doesn't really matter. And when you have a nose clip, uh, you know, you don't drown. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the sessions I have had, at least, we have been outside. There's been uh, sunshine coming oh, through. Oh, yes. That's the good part. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. And um, the only thing you observe is that you are floating around in a different space and you have a lot of twinkling light mm. in front of you. Yeah with the sunshine coming through the water. And for a lot of people I've been with, they come up crying. Um, and mm. there's a reason for that. And um, I just have to kind of say that most people don't know until they have tried. Mm -hmm. It's a good ceremony to, um, to um, give yourself for your own well-being and your own healing. And I wanted to bring this up today because I think it's a good thing to do for people who really want to focus on that self-healing journey. Mm. and. Maybe you get rid of old shit before they transition into uh, the new earth, we can mm -hmm. say. Yes, yes, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I love, I love that part of our ceremony, which, which is like with the light piercing through the water, to the pineal gland, to your whole energy center. That that's can be really yeah. trippy and powerful too. Because when you go underwater, you, you, you almost have to trust. Inevitably, you have to trust the space holder. Uh, which, is, which is in this case me uh, and then when you come up you know you just feel the light loving you and you feel the uh, an indescribable love and maybe peace of being born again and being rebirthed in this realm that you take ownership and you quantum jump yourself in right. a more elevated state yeah you, you become more ownership of your reality yeah so some of the things that you guys know i talk about is the topic of reality shifts how do you jump timelines? And people and the planet start to understand that this is actually possible. You know, even scientists now, as you know, Bank have, mm. have done a lot of research also. It's not just a spiritual concept. We see that scientists are starting to merge with spirituality, which is nice to see. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to the topic of reality shifts, even scientists are starting to talk about mm. the um, notion of multiverse, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. It's the only answer to what they observe. 
-hmm. When you do a process like, or typical ceremonies or mm. li healthy life habits like breath work in a water therapy session, mm. combined maybe with some physical activity like yoga or uh, some other kind of practice, mm. you are consciously making a choice to elevate your body and mind, mm. which accelerates those timeline jumps. Mm -hmm. You elevate yourself. Nobody's yeah. doing it for you. Yeah. You are doing it yourself because you, your intention is to, to, to heal or improve or elevate. Mm. or the effect is always or usually to elevate anyway mm -hmm. that is how you can change your life and change yeah. your reality yes right yes so, so true and um, the topic of like-minded people is uh, something I mentioned just in a recent video um, we are in a time again I mentioned this because we are in a time where it's super important to choose your reality mm. be conscious of what you feed your body and mind mm. and who you allow to influence your reality, which is family, friends, and even public figures, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, exactly. Maybe especially. Yeah, <laughs> especially. <laughs> yeah. At this time. Yeah. And um, I would say in general, the norm of humanity is that they are easily hypnotized and trapped by the, we call it, like to call it matrix. Mm -hmm. It's like Keanu Reeves uh, said about the movie that the matrix was not a movie, it was a documentary. documentary. Yeah, it is. So maybe you should watch it again. Yeah, but um, super important to choose your realities, reality at this time, and and filter your reality mm. with what you allow to influence and in feed your body and mind. Mm. So that's why I felt it was a, a perfect synchronization to be able to reconnect with Bank mm. in this video and um, mm. ask him about these healthy life habits. Yeah. So, thank you. Very do you have any other tips? Um, you would suggest at this time in the, in the mm. upcoming months for the shifts that's happening? Just really stay aligned with your with your purpose, you know, like mm. with your your free will is a gift to choose your reality. They already told us in the mainstream media before they do anything anyway, in subliminal way, of of obvious way, but most people who are not awake they don't see it oh. anyway. And one of the things that, that I would like to share last bit is that with all the five senses, at least, some of you have six senses, but all five senses mainstreamly, mainly, the ears are the most sensitive one. And if you look closely, the ear is like the baby shape, upside down, right? So this is almost like being, being planted or being planted by the new seed of birth in your ear. And when you go to the big mall or some public space that have the frequency of mainstream music that is really hard to avoid and that's why this kind of tools of deep breath or expanding and, and just jumping your timeline uh, modality that you can you can practice is so crucial for us to cleanse this you mm. know from within because the way out we cannot block the, the big speaker in the mainstream public place no you know with that 440 hertz or whatever um, hertz that they want to subliminal it's, sub it's subliminal message everywhere. So we cannot avoid that as long as we live in the 3D, three-dimensional world, unless we move to the mountain. But we have the choice to purify mm. it. We have to, almost the way out is in and through, right? It in, down, That's up right. and through. So this, this tool that we share on this episode is really crucial for you to choose to reprogram yourself or let them reprogram you and just go with the mainstream, go with the mass. Which is not wrong ultimately, but but we, for me and John and I think our, our our close friends, we choose our upgraded timeline that we want to live without mm. stress and we without watching too much news or listen to much of the mainstream music. That's right. right. Yeah. So Thank you for that. We have choice. I usually tell people that when you start to make conscious choices and think for yourself, ask questions, and you raise and elevate yourself suddenly you're going to find that your head is above the fog mm. and the clouds and mm. you're going to see clearly and you're going to see things you haven't seen before and you can't unsee it mm. yeah so well i hope this was helpful i hope this could be a nice little episode for people mm. to um, uh, take charge of their bodies and minds and become the boss of their own reality mm -hmm. and when you do that you're going to see that you're going to have new experiences in life new synchronicities with a new type of people situations and uh, environments mm. 
that happened for me. Yeah. So um, that's how conscious choices just work. Mm. Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for your time as well. It's such an honor to reunite really? again, brother. Really good. It's a good good time to be alive. It's exciting time, right? Very exciting yeah, time. Exciting time. Uh, so. Especially when you can uh, see a little bit through the matrix and mm. you, we understand what's going on because the awareness helps to not freak out so mm. much. Yeah. We are pretty relaxed and yeah. excited and motivated for the future. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright guys, that was it. Nice conversation with Bank. If you want to try out breath work and even water therapy, which I highly recommend, reach out, go to his website. I'll post the links down below here in the description box for his website and also his um, social media. He is offering for a few selected people private coaching and uh, he is doing retreats. That is an experience in itself. I have tried it two times with Bank and uh, it really puts you in a different state, mind state and, um, and begin, it's basically starting a healing journey.